Abby and in today's video I'm going to be doing a how to do a back walkover tutorial. So I may, I can't really remember, but I may have done a back walkover video on my channel years ago, but I, I, I just think that that video wasn't really a good demonstration on how to do back walkover and it was also like really hard to hear so um i decided to do a new version of that um i don't know if it's still on the video is still on my channel but you know it, it may be i don't, I don't really know but anyways um yeah let's just get right into it all right, so first things first, you always want to stretch before you do any kind of trick or anything um, because that helps prevent injuries or at least like prevent the risk somewhat. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so it's always best to stretch before just to make it even safer to do a trick so you don't get hurt <laughs> anyway so i'm going to show you guys kind of just quickly how to stretch for your back walk over uh you really stretch almost everything you stretch your wrists your arms your back and your legs so almost pretty much everything um just because you use all of those things uh in the back walkover um but i'm going to try to make this pretty quick because this is a how to do a back walkover video not how to stretch for a back walkover video so i'm trying to make this pretty quick so um first i'm going to start with my legs so i'm just going to do a lunge and i'm just going to hold this for a few seconds and this just stretches like right here and then I'm just gonna go pull it straight. I always have this habit of pointing my toes. You don't have to point your toes, but it's just a habit of mine. So, <laughs> whenever I do almost anything, <laughs> besides like walk and like stand and like normal things. So you just wanna put your nose to your knee or if you can't go that far, that's okay. Just try to go as far down to your knee as you can. If you can't go that far, that's okay. I'm just going to switch legs. You're going to do the lunge with the other leg. And, yeah. If you feel like you're not really getting a stretch, try moving more out or more in. Um, I usually find that moving more out just helps uh, get a better stretch if you put your foot more forward, if you're not really feeling too much of a stretch. And then you're just going to straighten that leg out. And go as close, bring your nose as close to your knee as you can. And then, um, and then you can do straddles. Now, I cannot do straddles. I'm so amazed by people that can, but I cannot go far down at all. I can do my right and left splits, but I cannot do my straddles so hard for me i've tried for so many years but just can't do it so yeah um anyways so that is basically all for your um legs so now we're going to stretch our wrists i think this is one of the most important to stretch so let's just let's get to it i don't keep talking why so first you want to put your wrist forward like that um and i think this is really important to stretch i sprained my wrist doing a back walk over i think it was because it was like one of my like it was when i was learning and i and it never i mean it recovered from it obviously now i'm going to turn my wrist this way so go down like that and it recovered obviously because like i'm doing a back walk in just a few minutes um but it can get re-injured quite easily 
Um, okay, now we're gonna do this. So you're gonna cross your hands, or your arms, not your hands, and then go down like that. Um, I can get re-injured really easily, and that was because I didn't stretch my wrists before. Um, and obviously that's not the case for everyone, but I just find that it's really important because you use, it's, it's really surprising, but you put a lot of impact, even though you're not like jumping on your wrists, if that makes any sense. Um, then you're gonna shake them out, we're done doing that. Um, and you do put a lot of impact on your wrists because part of the way, when you go straight up and down, when you're turning this way, you put a lot of impact on your wrists. Um, okay, we're gonna stretch our backs and then that will be the last stretch. Uh, so you're gonna go into a seal like this. Just try to put your legs flat on the ground and then shoulders back. Now, I know everyone, I know a lot of people cannot do a donut um, or lots of people, some people call it mermaid, fishbowl, whatever, but what I'm talking about is this. Um, but what, if you cannot do that, that is perfectly fine. I just want you to go as close as you can. So if you know that much, that's okay. That much, that's okay. Just go as close as you can to bring your feet to your head. It's a good, good stretch. If you can do a donut, obviously go for it. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, now we're going to just lay on the ground. And then go up. I, for some reason, I always like, I'm gonna hold this for just a few seconds, to go uh, start from the ground first, um, and then um, go into a back bend when I stretch my back. So for your back walkover, um, you are gonna want to have a back bend, and I'm gonna talk about all the skills you're gonna need in just a minute but you're gonna wanna have a back bend. Um, you can do this, or you don't have to go like that, but you can kick over like this. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to go standing and then kicking over. So, for part of our stretch, we're gonna stand up, go into a back bend that way. really have to hold that for a good stretch if you're going that way okay so now enough stretching let's get to what skills you're going to need for a back walk for all right so skills you need you don't need a ton of skills all you need is a back bend so that is what i just did with this and you go back that is the only skill you're going to need um, for back walkover. Um, yeah, so if you don't already have that, um, then I would suggest working hard to get a back bend and then going and um, learning your back walkover. So if you have that skill, then let's get right into the video. All right, so the first step is to practice kicking off of a higher surface. So this can be any surface um, such a, as a couch, oh my gosh, what is a mat that can either be folded up or is already on a higher surface. So a mat that is on a higher surface basically or an ottoman um yeah any of those so couch ottoman or a mat that is on a higher surface it doesn't have to be super tall but you know medium up to there at least um but yeah so i'm gonna show you how you're kind of gonna kick off and this is really important on learning the, to build a somewhat proper form in your arms and your back but also it just gets the motion of kicking off and also builds the strength to be able to kick off, kick off so let's get to that all right so for this demonstration i'm going to be using 
this little ottoman here, which you can't really tell if it's an ottoman, but this thing is what I'm going to be using. Um, I guess there's that little castle thing right there. Just ignore that. <laughs> um, and yeah, so what you want to do is you want to put your feet up on here, and then you lay down and go into a bridge. And in the bridge, you are going to put your feet flat on the surface that you're using, and then you're going to kick off. Now, if you're wondering, like, I don't have my back walk over, how am I going to kick off of this? Um, and basically, what this does is it brings your feet already halfway or close to halfway because if you're already, your legs are up here, it's easier to fall this way. So having your feet on a higher surface is easier to kick off this way. You're already somewhat there. So practice this every day for, you know, just, just a couple times, you know, a day until you can build the strength and you find that this is very easy. First couple times it might be a little bit difficult, but the more you do this, it'll get very, very easy. Once you have um, done this, you can, and it feels very easy, you can move on to a lower surface and that makes it so your legs aren't so much like halfway. If you move maybe to a surface maybe right here, it's a little bit harder. It's still high up, so you're still getting a little bit more motion this way, but it is still lower than this, so it will be harder. And we want to keep lowering the surface all the way down to the ground. So I'm just going to show you another surface that you can use. Um, so if you don't have like a mat or anything, which a mat would be lower, you can use, you can take the like pillow thing off like that, but actually take it off. Um, let's pull this back over. Um, and that would be a lower surface. Um, if you can't take yours off or something, um, you can use a pillow. Now a pillow would be much lower than this, but it still works. Um, so you just want to find something lower than what you started with. So anything that you can kick off of safely. Um, that is lower than this, go for that. Um, and then once you do that and it gets really easy, move to a lower surface. So I'm gonna use a mat because I have a folded up mat, that rainbow thing right there. And I'll show you another thing. So here's the mat, same thing. It's a much lower surface, but you're gonna put your feet over here, go up into a bridge, and then kick off from there. From there, you can go into an even, even lower surface, and that might be a pillow or a folded up blanket, any type of lower surface that you can safely kick off of. So um, once you've gone to a lower surface, such as a pillow or <laughs> a uh, um, folded up blanket, if you're going to some, a lower surface than this, and master that, then I think <clears throat> you're ready to go learn on the ground. So, um, from the ground, you think, okay, so I've done <clears throat> all these levels, and now on the ground, it should be, you know, pretty easy to just like take off. And it is that way for some people, but a lot, of, most people actually, the ground is obviously the hardest but it's just like, it's a drastic difference between all of the higher levels because you absolutely no leverage at all. So, um, so on the ground, the first couple times, it's going to be <laughs> extremely difficult. Um, a, some, I know a lot of people don't have this, but if you do, I would definitely use this to your advantage. If you have close by or in your yard, a slanted down surface, um, then that is definitely going to help you get it off the ground just because you're, it's 
the momentum is going that way because it's downhill, that's definitely going to help you on the ground, but lots of people do not have slanted surface um, to use to their advantage, but that is something, if you have, definitely use that to your advantage. Um, but otherwise, what I would do is just go for it and understand that the first time you're not going to just like take off. Um, 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 so I really don't know what to say at this point and this is how I got it is practicing for like months and I I was like really discouraged I was like okay I didn't get it and it's been like a month like how have I not gotten it I've done it every day for a month and I still haven't gotten it um and I feel like it's I literally can't really say anything else but once you start on the ground it you just have to work at it and if you work at it for months and understand that you probably won't get it the first time you do it and lots of people don't get it in even the first like month and you just have to keep on working at it like it's like probably like wow really great advice like wow but like it's literally all i can say um, but however, I am going to teach you proper form and just a few tips. Like, I know I was like, oh, that's all I can say. But I can give you definitely a few tips once you started from the ground. Um, so what you want to do is also with the back walker work that you start like this and then go back and kick over. It's much easier for a lot of people than going like that and then kicking off because you have more momentum going down. Um ponytail is falling out, so <laughs> um but yeah, so what you want to do is whatever your dominant leg is, so left or right legs. I know some people don't really know the difference, but try both out. Some people are like, I don't know. Try both legs out if you don't know and see which one's easier. I'm right legged. Um, however, fun fact, I'm right legged in everything I do, except for if I surf or wakeboard, I get up on the, my left leg. That was very random. But anyways, <laughs> um, and everything besides surfing and wakeboarding, I am right legged. So, you're gonna start like this, and you can go slow. I think you see a lot of people that are really good at it go really fast and you try it, and you're like, that, that just, that did not work. Um, so you can go slow. But what I see a lot of beginners do is like this. So they go like this, and they'll stop. And then like, yes, you can go slow, but like, don't just stop for like five hours, like. You can go slow, but <laughs> you can't just stop in the middle for five hours. If you stop for a long time, then it's not a back walkover, it's a back bed to kick over, which is pretty similar, but like a back walkover is this. Uh, you don't just like stop. <laughs> so, but you can go slow. Like if you want to take it like this, at the beginning, stopping for a couple seconds is okay. Just like try not to stop is what I mean. If you try not to stop, you won't stop for a very long time. And then you can kind of just go without stopping eventually. So I'm gonna do break it down in slow motion. So put your front leg out and then go back. I know it sounds kind of scary because like, oh, my front leg's forward. It's basically using one leg to go back, but it's not. Um, I will put my, I, I always point my toe for some reason, it's just a habit, um, but you can just start like this, 
And it's the same thing. I promise you it's the same thing. It feels a little different, but it's the same thing as doing this. It's the same thing as two feet on the ground. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to stop because I need to do this kind of slower to demonstrate, kind of just tell you about it. Um, straight arms and then just go back like always. And then don't stop because if you stop, you're probably not going to make it. If you know how to do a backbend kickover, then you will. But like if it's your first time, like, and you don't know how to do a backbend kickover or a back walkover, you're not going to make it if you just stop. Um, so keep going. If you stop and you're kind of slow for a second, that's okay. But um, just try not to stop because the less you stop, the more momentum you're going to have. So go back. And then um, something that I do, I feel like, is... When I'm about to kick over, I will point my, my, like, I won't point them, I'll go up with my toes like this. And that just helps me get over. Like, just watch me. Um, hit when I kick over, watch my feet. And that was kind of fast, so I'll do it a little bit slower, but. Um. I will put my feet up and that is something I feel like has helped me a ton. It's very hard to do it when your feet are like this kicking over. Try to go up and then kick over. And pretty soon it will be a habit that you just kind of go up. But at first just try to think about putting your feet up like this. That will help you kick over so much. Um, yeah. Um, also, something I like to think about is when I go back, let's say I am right in the middle. So I've kicked over up to here, and this is definitely the hardest part to go back. But like I said earlier, you're already halfway there. Something I like to do is I think that I'm lifting myself up. So try to lift your arms up like you're trying to bring yourself up. And you can't bring yourself up all the way. Like... I mean, I mean, if you're super strong, you can, but like, uh, I'm not strong, so <laughs> I'm not very strong. Um, so, but think about bringing yourself up, trying to bring yourself up, and that will help you kick over, because bringing yourself up kind of takes your hands off of the ground. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So here is a, my two tips in slow motion and everything I talked about. So leg forward, you can be like this, it doesn't have to be like this, but you know. Um, and then keep okay, arms straight. That's just proper form. It's not something you need to have to do it necessarily, but it's, it's proper form. So instead of doing that, do that. Don't lock your elbows, but keep them straight. Um, go back. Try not to stop, put your feet up, and push yourself up. So I'll do it fast and try to look for everything I've talked about. Lay forward, straight arms, putting my feet up on my on the balls of my feet. So I'm not talking about like that, like on your freaking toe, but on the balls of your feet. Um, and then pushing yourself up. Try to look for that when I do it. As you can see, I like kind of pushed myself up to get over. And you think, well, you're supposed to like move your hands back, but you want to push yourself. And that will give the momentum to go back. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions um, about this video, if you're like, oh, I didn't quite understand that, or oh, I have this question, go comment them down below. Um, if you have any video requests, we love getting video requests, so go comment down below as well. I love getting questions. Um, I'll try my best to answer them if I can. If I don't know the answer to that, then I'll, then I might not, you know, uh, respond or I might say, oh, you know, 
I don't know the answer to that, um, but um, I love getting questions, so um, definitely go comment them down below, and I'll try my best to answer them if I know the answer. If I don't, I'll tell you, um, and go comment down for, below for any video requests, because we love getting video requests, um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.